Okay, this is an example of an application of the azimuth that we have discussed in the previous video. Okay, so a navigator and a ship sailing on a course at an azimuth of 338 degrees at 12 nautical miles per hour observes a lighthouse due north of the ship. 15 minutes later, the lighthouse is due east of the ship. How far is the lighthouse from the ship at that time? Okay, so uh, a ship is sailing, you know, so there, uh, there are only two main characters dito sa problem natin, the lighthouse and the ship. Okay, so there are two points in time dito. The first one is when the light, when the ship is sailing and the lighthouse is due north. Ibig sabihin nito, uh, kung nandito yung ship, ano? Okay. So, kung nandito yung ship, the lighthouse was due north. Okay. Ibig sabihin, nandito lang yung lighthouse. Okay, so it's due north. And the, the ship is traveling at an azimuth of 338 degrees. Ibig sabihin, if we draw an arbitrary axis dito sa ship, so we measure 338 degrees, 338 degrees, ibig sabihin na it's greater than 270. So, more or less, nandito yung angle 338 degrees. So, basically, yung ship natin ay papuntang pa ganito. Okay. So, it's sailing 338 degrees. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nito, pa ganito yung pag ganito yung travel ano, ng ship natin. Now, 15 minutes later, the, the lighthouse and the ship, so, the lighthouse is already due east of the ship. Ibig sabihin, 15 minutes later, nandito na yung ship natin. Okay, so, due east, due east na yung lighthouse. Okay, so, itong distance na to traveled by the ship was traveled for 15 minutes so we need to find this distance okay so what is this distance ano yung distance na ito we know based from our um, discussions noon that distance is equal to the rate times time. Okay. We know the rate of the ship, 12 knots or 12 nautical miles per hour. And the time of travel is 15 minutes. So we need to convert 15 minutes to hour. So basically the distance is 12 miles na lang, na yung nautical mile. miles per hour times the time is 15 15 minutes but we need to multiply this by to convert 52 minutes we know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour para makancel si minutes makancel din si hour so ang matitira na unit natin is nautical miles okay? or simply miles so yun na yung miles 12 times 15 divided by 60 is 3 okay so 3 3 miles okay so this is 3 3 miles 
Ang tinatanong ngayon is, how far is the lighthouse from the ship at that time? So, ang tinatanong is this one. So, sabihin natin, this is x. We are looking for the value of x. Ano ang given natin? The angle dito, 338 degrees. So, alam natin yung buong revolution is 360 degrees. So, this angle is the difference between uh, itong angle na to this is the difference between the whole revolution minus 338 so 360 minus 338 means okay so that is 22 yeah so this is 22 degrees okay so Meron tayong triangle dito. Basically, a right triangle. Pwede natin i-redraw. Meron tayong right triangle. Okay. Well, this angle is 22 degrees. Okay. This, uh, this is the 90 degree angle. This is 3 miles. And this is the unknown x. Okay. So, alam natin, based from the discussion on right triangles, that the side opposite the 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. Ibig sabihin, this is our hypotenuse. Okay. This is our given angle. So, what is the relationship between the angle and the unknown x? So, this is the opposite. Yeah? This is the opposite. So, ano ang gagamitin natin to relate the angle the unknown x and the 3 miles based sa uh, ano natin sa uh, acronym natin na SOKATOA. Ang given ay opposite and hypotenuse. So, ang gagamitin natin ay yung may opposite and hypotenuse sign. Okay? So, the sign of the angle 22 degrees is equal to the opposite x divided by the hypotenuse 3. So, x is 3 multiplied by sine of 22 degrees. Therefore, x is approximately 1.12 miles. Okay. Approximately 1.12 miles. So, at that time, the distance between the ship and the lighthouse is 1.12 miles.